Well, good Wednesday morning, Northern Michigan. We have a brand new uh, segment of Revive. It's a new year, so we have some new ideas for your home. And of course, some familiar faces. Deneen Dingman with the Habitat for Humanity Restore. She's the manager there in Traverse City. So great to see you, Deneen. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to and see you. And also Dan Brady with Dan Brady Painting. He's here with some awesome ideas for mirrors, which I think is just fabulous. I mean, these are gorgeous. Yeah, I was actually in the Habitat Restore the other day and we had a ton of old mirrors. I was like, Denise, we gotta figure out mm -hmm. something to do with sure. these mirrors. So I got on Pinterest and looked, typed in mirrors and it came up with all these cool ideas to frame old mirrors with wood. Oh, look at that. So I stopped out to my friend, Justin Selby does furniture and he had some really nice wood. So I had him plane these pieces down to the proper length and since I'm not a carpenter, I'm more of a painter, I just simply attached them with this power grab and all you do literally is put it on there like that, okay. lay it on top, take those dumbbells that are down in the basement that you're probably not using for working out and just set it on there. Let it wait ah. for about a half hour and it just grabs right on, on there so you don't need any special clamps or anything. So that dumbbell just kind of holds it down for it to dry. Exactly. It takes about okay. a half hour and then it attaches nicely. This piece right here. That's gorgeous. My niece Madeline was actually snorkeling this summer and she pulled this out of the bay. I don't know how she did it. She's about 60 pounds soaking wet. She pulled <laughs> this out. So I had my brother Scott. He planed those pieces down for me. And I just, again, used a power grab to attach it to the mirror, and it really makes a nice looking piece. Yes. You could hang it vertically, too, or just use it as a, as a wall mirror. Um, and then again, another piece of exotic wood, and I, what I did with this is I stained it the same color as my hardwood floor. I like so that. So it matches nicely, and with the nice, cool wood, it really looks cool. And then this one here, with Valentine's Day How coming fine. up. I just uh, used the, the chalkboard paint from Northwood Paint. Okay. Put chalkboard paint on there. Put and the chalk on there. This is nice for, you know, a little girl for her room. Absolutely, or, you know, a child. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. fun. It's something, taking just a, a regular mirror that you have around your home mm -hmm. and trying something mm -hmm. completely different, it's a whole new mirror. Absolutely. And you keep changing it. I like how you can see your Oh, I know. Well, strokes. And just, these are just little stickies I got from a little store. This and is great. If you're in the doghouse, guys, for Valentine's Day, this might be <laughs> this a good idea. This might be the fixer-upper <laughs> right here. And what's nice about this, too, I have a mirror in my bathroom that is just a plain mirror. It looks like this without the wood. And I'm always like, oh, that mirror is just so drab. Mm -hmm. There isn't anything special about it. But if you find something like this, wood, or something else to put along the side, it changes mm -hmm. it up completely. Find a carpenter or friend to plane it out for you and you just set it on there. Mm -hmm. I like it because you don't have to frame the four corners so you don't have to do any technical cuts. Sure, you just right. mm -hmm. put it on the there length and, it and you're ready it. to go. This is beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. So many ideas <laughs> besides, you know, the wood. And, and like you mentioned, if you were even along the beach looking at wood, it could be just really economical. Driftwood. Oh, yes. I got one more. That One more mirror that I revived for you, Melissa. <laughs> this is what I need right the, here. The Michigan the State, Michigan mirror, State mirror. Michigan State duct tape. I always got to pull that in somehow. <laughs> you so always there you have go. to. I'm a Spartan through and through, Brody, so I like this. you can borrow it, too, if you want. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dan. Very, very really creative beautiful. ideas. Of course, stay with us in just about 20 minutes. Deneen is going to have some ideas, too, that you don't want to miss. Some more great ideas for your home to really spruce it up for the new year. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Taking a look now at Weather Watchers, we turn things over to Joe Charlevoix. All right, a good morning to you. Back with Deneen and Dan here for part two of our revive. Earlier we were talking about how to restore mirrors. Now we're going to talk about how to get organized around the house. It's a new year, so perfect time to do just that. And what I love about the revive segments is you always find new ways to do something with old things. And mm -hmm. that's a theme. Uh, yeah. Starting with your dish display here. Well, yeah, I, you know, there, you've got all kinds of things around the house. There's no reason to go out and buy something new, yeah. usually. But this is... Um, a file holder that would go on a desk normally but if you have a small space a lot of times dishes aren't won't fit in the cabinets because they're too um, big around and or if you just have a shelf or something that you're putting your dishes on so if you stand them up and they look really nice displayed like this but if you stand them up in a file holder it takes up less depth so yeah. you can um, they'll sit better on the shelf or in your cabinet and they'll look better. Yeah, and also what I love about this though is the dishes are kind of out of the cabinet, out of the dishwasher, which brings me to my next piece here. <laughs> this actually uh, awesome. once was a part of a dishwasher. Yes, this was the dishwasher rack. But if you, again, need storage, you want to organize, 
Um, <laughs> these roll really nice underneath the bed. Oh, or awesome. if you have another space. And yeah, I want to show know. inside you put some board games in here, which everybody, especially this time of year, you know, you have to have Battleship. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere yeah. to. Uh, yeah. Dan and I are going to play a game of That's Battleship right. after we're done here. So, uh, uh, but, but it's, a, it's a great reuse, though, uh, of something that, you know, fight folks might be getting rid of. Yeah, and you can put as much time and effort into it as you want. I did paint it, and I put this little piece of trim on here and decorated it. Blend and it if, out. if you don't have a dishwasher rack laying around the house, um, if you come into Restore, we have a lot of drawers, cabinet drawers, and um, and if you have an old dresser or just drawers from an old dresser, those are really good storage under a bed too. Mm -hmm. And you can go to the hardware store and you can get a pack of glides that is just like a nail with a plastic glide on the bottom. You nail them on the bottom, four corners, and it will slide in and out from under the bed That's just awesome. as easily. And real quick, uh, of course, a lot of us now have the MP3 player, the iPod, so perhaps you got rid of the CDs, but you still have the CD case <laughs> rack yeah, sitting yeah, around yeah. here. So, and, and this is a brilliant reuse here. I love this. So I sprayed it, and it's a great way uh, to display your towels. If you have a small bathroom and you want to put guest towels out, or, um, you can put the tissue in the bottom. I put a little tray with a candle on top. And it's, I don't think you'd know that it was a no, CD it's, holder. It, it took me a second to figure out what it was. And the, and the little woman on, on the bottom, of course, you can <laughs> accessorize to it. But it really is a great, great reuse of a project here. And what I want to mention before we go is, of course, uh, Denise is with Habitat for Humanity. And behind me here, if you go into the ReStore, there, there's a little bit of a challenge that you have for our viewers out there this morning. Right. We had a large quantity of these donated and we've been trying to figure out what to do what how to repurpose them so if you would like to take on the challenge to repurpose one of these the, it's really beautiful metal it's heavy sturdy they were tea displays the sign up here I'm sure you can pop it off or come up with some idea yeah but come in and ask we're not going to have them out in the store for sale you have to come in and ask and say that you saw it this morning and we will give you one of these and then you take it and repurpose it and take pictures we can put them on the website um, yeah and, and, and they, the yeah, you're encouraging creativity. Feel free to send them into our Facebook fan page up north live. Uh, you have to go and where's your store located so folks know? It's in the True Fit Trouser Company building on Woodmere, 1129 Woodmere. Well, uh, of course, we encourage all of you to go in there, take advantage Brody, of that. let's go head to head on the challenge, me I, and you. I know. I, 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 I'll, 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 I'll not forget it in the world. I had Deneen on my side, though, remember. So. We'll have that <laughs> in, in, in a friendly game of Battleship coming That's up right. here. After the, we want to thank you both for coming thank in. Thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate Deneen, thanks, good to see buddy. you as well. And get out there, take part in this challenge. It'll be fun. We want to see some pictures of uh, your creativity. Let's turn things over to Joe Charlevoix now, seeing about the look at your bus stop forecast.